Welcome to What's Up Poland, the daily video show where we talk about news, views, culture, history, life, everything Poland. Okay, John, I'm sure you've probably seen news reports of an incredible discovery on the former site of the Warsaw Ghetto yeah. um, about this previously undiscovered bunker, mm -hmm. which was accessed by builders who were building a new residential apartment block. Exactly. And there was a story that appeared in a Israeli press organization about this, and they said that there was it's kind of like the, the building was being being rebuilt over the ghetto. I think it's fair to say that actually the, the rebuilding took place a long time ago and this is yeah, just yeah, a new exactly. apartment block that was mm -hmm. built, but clearly they've done some um, some work in the some ground. Some digging, exactly. And the builders on this construction site actually came across 10 small black leather boxes containing scrolls of parchment inscribed with verses from the Torah, and I'm just quoting with the story here, and worn during weekly morning prayers that were hidden behind a stack of books and weapons. Weapons, yeah. So obviously in the Warsaw Ghetto, uh, people were under no illusions about what was happening o over the months and then years of the horrible constriction that the Nazi Germans placed on the mm -hmm. uh, the Polish Jews that were living there. Um, people started to go underground, and I've been privileged to meet some of the people who survived. Uh, it's uh, incredible stories. And with them, they took the things that were important. So books, weapons, and of course, religious artifacts, very important to these deeply religious Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Well, the story is controversial because as I'm sure you know, what happened is that the builders didn't report this find to any local authority, local museums, or any kind of historical organizations. What they did was uh, they contacted an organization um, in Israel called the Shem Olam Institute, which apparently has contacts scattered across Europe looking yeah. for artifacts of historical importance. And the reason why this is controversial is because a number of people, including, for example, noted Professor Barbara Engelking, uh, I've got a couple of her books on the Warsaw Ghetto, have said that this is you know, totally outrageous, absolute scandal. It's illegal more than anything else. Yeah. These items should have been reported in the country they were reported. I, I was reading this story and thinking about it, thinking like, yeah, it's better that they reported it to someone than that they chucked these things in the bin and just got on with their work. Because I can imagine somebody just doing that yeah, as well. Exactly. You know? uh, and, it, and it has happened as well. Yeah, and there was yeah, the yeah. famous story, of course, of the uh, Warsaw Uprising. Exactly, whose with the stuff in his skip. Yeah. collection was just <laughs> thrown out. So it's not what we know about. It's sometimes what we don't see. In fact, there's probably many tragedies there. But clearly these items are of immense importance, and it's been pretty controversial because of the fact that they've been taken out of the country and sold. Well, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, you have to remember that in Poland, if you have anything of a historical importance or antiques, for instance, uh, you're not allowed to take them out of the country without prior permission. So it's not, uh, I think it's more of a, an administration thing. Of course, like we are talking about kind of major historical artifacts from the, the Warsaw Ghetto. And as far as I'm concerned, my personal opinion is that they should stay in Poland as well. And they should be, you know, placed in the custody of um, an organization such as the Pauline uh, Museum of the History of Polish Jews um, in order to show these uh, artifacts to, to the public. Um, but of course, you know, I understand, uh, I also understand why Israel would like to have these uh, artifacts um, over there as well. It's very, it's a very thin line, is it? Like yeah. where, where, you know, where you're talking about, let's say, historical artifacts which could be displayed for the public good and also like, you know, making a quick buck, for instance, you know, it's a very kind of... Well, one thing's for sure, this probably isn't the first time. Yeah, uh, and, and it, it probably won't be the last. Most certainly won't be the last time. In fact, Barbara Engel King, she's quoting the story, is saying that she's absolutely certain that there's a lot more things buried under the ground. Uh, when I used to do walking tours of Warsaw, I'd always say like, we are literally walking on the graves of many people. Mm -hmm. You know, things happened here and uh, the roads were rebuilt and people got on because they had to. But underneath these streets, there's many tragedies and no doubt many bunkers as well that have yet to be discovered. Indeed, indeed. So uh, what are we going to say? Well, I think the best thing to do is to read for yourself, you know, and let everybody click on the link uh, below this video. They'll see the whole story. They can see the opinions there. They can see what was found and make up their own mind.